Sesame check mix. Sesame check mix. Checks mix. Checks. Mix. Mix. Yeah. It's hard to say. Sesame, Sesame check, check mix. mix. No, Not check. Check. Sesame checks mix. Yeah. Sesame checks mix. Sesame checks mix. <laughs> What's up guys? It's Kat and Deb from Two Market Girls. Welcome back to another vegan recipe. Today we're making some snacks. Yeah, movie snacks. Yeah, you it, know. We both really like movies, right? I like to fall asleep during movies. <laughs> yeah. Movies are an easy way to like relax and just kind of hang out. And you know, snacks are a big part of that. I'm just holding that. <laughs> Hold the snacks. <laughs> Snacks are a big part of movie nights. Like, I've never watched a movie and not eaten food during it. I think if there's snacks, I'm less li likely to fall asleep <laughs> right away. Yeah. So, we decided to do a whole video about movie snacks. Mm -hmm. So we did a sweet and a savory option, depending on what you're feeling. Or just have both. Have both. Um, but before we get into the recipe, um, a lot of people who watch aren't subscribed to our channel. And we want to know what that's about, man. Subscribe so you don't miss any future yeah. recipes. Subscribe, hit the bell notification so you definitely don't miss any future recipes. Um, also, big thanks to one of our patrons, Jessica, mm -hmm. for suggesting the sweet recipe. So yeah, guys, if you become one of our patrons, we listen to you. We do. <laughs> <laughs> we take your advice. Um, so we should just make these now, right? But you didn't even say what we made. Oh, did I not? No. Oh, what did we make, Devin? Well. As per Jessica's suggestion, we made chocolate dipped pretzels. So good. Hubba hubba. And like so easy to make. Mm hmm. And as per Devin's my suggestion, suggestion, yeah. What are we calling this one? Sesame check mix. Sesame check mix. Checks mix. Checks mix. Mix. Yeah. It's hard to say. Sesame, Sesame check, check mix. mix. No, no check. Checks. Sesame checks mix. Yeah. Sesame check mix. Sesame check mix. <laughs> That's what we made. Let's go make it. Yikes. <laughs> to make your sesame Chex Mix, to a bowl you're going to add some Chex cereal or some other rice cereal, along with some sesame sticks, pretzels, rice crackers, and roasted peas. You could also use roasted edamame, but we did not have roasted edamame readily available. Next, we're gonna make the glaze for it. So to a small saucepan, we're going to add a little bit of maple syrup, water, soy sauce, sesame oil, rice vinegar, and butter. You're going to stir it over low to medium heat until it starts to bubble and slightly thicken. While that's doing that, you can prep the rest of the ingredients. So we took two nori sheets and just kind of cut it up into little squares and just set that aside. Once the glaze has reached the consistency that you want, it's just slightly thicker than what it was when it started. Take it off the heat, pour it over the check mi checks mix in thirds. So you're gonna start off with a third of it, toss it, add in some nori, keep tossing it. We're gonna add in another third of the sauce that you made, add a little bit more nori, toss it again, and then add the remaining of both. And then we're going to add sesame seeds to that and just toss until the sesame seeds are well distributed. Then we're going to place that on a lined baking sheet and bake it in the oven preheated to 250 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 to 50 minutes. Then you're gonna remove it from the oven and allow it to cool for about 10 minutes. Okay, to make your chocolate covered pretzels, you only need three ingredients. Um, so we're going to start off by melting some chocolate and coconut oil over a double boiler on the stove. Once that is nice and melted, you're gonna remove it from the heat and dip your pretzels one by one into the chocolate and place that on a lined baking sheet. And you just repeat that until they're done. Optionally, you can add some toppings to your chocolate pretzels before you put them in the fridge to set. To add a little bit of variety to these chocolate covered pretzels, we topped some with some crushed pecans, some with some shredded coconut, and some with sprinkles and then we just place the whole lined baking sheet in the fridge to set. It should be about 30 minutes. Um, to store these, make sure you keep them stored in the fridge, especially if it's warm where you live or warm in your house, they will melt if they are left at room temperature. Uh, 
That is some good snacks. Eats nice. I like. <laughs> okay. Now we eat. Mm-hmm. Sorry. These crunchy snacks. I just got, they like stick together. Uh -huh. It's like a trail mix, but like better. I just had like a sushi craving kind of, and I was like, can we make a sushi flavored snack? Which is smart because like I eat nori all the time. You do. Actually, I do too. Yeah. Snacking on nori is the best. Mm-hmm. You look at me so weird when, I, you open, when we, I opened the door and I was eating nori at one time. Well, this is, I don't know, like 10 in the morning. <laughs> and this one is also really easy to make. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, you know, you make a big batch, meal prep your snacks. <laughs> <laughs> meal prep your snacks. <laughs> That's the only kind of meal prepping I like. Yes. Um, this is super customizable too. Um, you can put other things in it. Oh. <laughs> you can put some nuts in it if you want some nuts. Oh. Diamond. What? <laughs> All right, sweet. Literally, sweet. Oh, you pretzels. Aren't they so pretty? Oh, those Thank sprinkles you, Jessica. get me every time. Mm-hmm. You're grabbing a pr yeah, sprinkle Yeah, one. look, they just um, make me so happy. Candling. They're so good. Mm-hmm. You feel like these mix in into popcorn? I feel like it would be so good. Yes. If you want the chocolate to not melt at room temperature, you could temper your chocolate. But that takes a lot of effort. A lot. And that's just not what we're about. So much effort that I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Tempering chocolate is bringing it to t higher temperatures than lower, then bringing it back up to temperature in order so that, you know when you have chocolate at room temperature that just kind of snaps, yeah. it's like a shiny gloss? That's tempered chocolate. That's fancy. Yeah, and it's a lot of work, and like even professional chefs do it wrong, so just, I'm not even gonna try it. No. Don't worry about it. These are fine. So just keep them in the fridge. And they're so good that like you're probably gonna eat them all before they melt, anyways. Mm hmm. Am I right? Mm hmm. I don't think I've had a sprinkle one yet. The sprinkle ones are freaking adorable, though. Mm hmm. I love them. Mm hmm. Seriously, chocolate covered pretzels are so good. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. It's just so simple. I never would have thought of it, but like it's so good. Um, so I feel like in the comments we should talk about movies. Mm hmm Devin, what's one of your favorite movies? Okay. I don't like that question. One of. I'm not saying your favorite I know. movie. But I feel like... What are some of your favorite movies? Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. The sure. newer version with Kristen Wiig and Melissa McCarthy. You don't like the original version? Um, not as much. <laughs> no. Not Devin's so much. all about the girl power. They're just hilarious. <laughs> what other movies do I like? Chef. Sure. Yes, Chef is a great movie. Chef is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's so good. Highly recommend it. Mm -hmm. Um, I love the Scream movies. Yeah. Anything horror I love. Anything shark related I love. I have embraced my love of bad movies mm -hmm. over the past couple of years. So I like anything by The Asylum. Or Asylum? I don't know. Who? It's a production house. Oh, okay. They make Sharknado and stuff like that. I thought you meant like a place. <laughs> I love asylums. <laughs> <laughs> um... Anything by Asylum is like one of my favorite movies of all time. I really, really like horror movies. They're my favorite. I want to know what some of your favorite movies are. Or a favorite movie you're loving right now, a movie you're looking forward to. Yeah. Is there types of movies that you just generally, just because of the type of movie, you don't watch it because you know you're not going to be interested? Is that horror movies? Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay. Mine are space movies. I've learned. I really don't like space movies. Okay. As usual, the recipes for both of these snacks will be linked in the description box below, as well as a link to our podcast. We talk about things like veganism, we talk about how we make our recipes, all that fun stuff. Check it out. We also have a Patreon account, which is like a crowdfunding site where you can help support our work. And by supporting us, we give you some perks back. Yeah, our Patreon came up with one of these, one of them, mm -hmm. as well as they came up with some um, podcast topics that we're going to talk about. So like, It'll be like the first place we go for new video ideas and things like that. And you can like talk to us directly about things like that. Mm -hmm. And we have one tier where we do exclusive mukbangs. Mm -hmm. And those are fun. A hot mess. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all, right. all. Give it a thumbs up if you like chocolate covered stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you like snacks. Mm, chocolate covered snacks. If you like to meal prep your snacks. <laughs> they're just so good, I can't stop eating them. What? They're so good, I can't stop eating them. To make your sesame chex mix, you're going to first start off with a bowl. Excuse me. 